Hey there everybody, Mr. Marek here. In this video, our objective is to understand how lenses can form images. Uh, we use images formed by lenses a lot. For example, your eyeball is a lens. Um, your glasses may be a lens. Um, projectors create images through lenses. Lenses work by creating images via the process of refraction. And we're going to learn about two kinds of lens, lenses, uh, which I've got pictured here. The one on the left is called a converging lens, and the one on the right is called a diverging lens. And those are kind of comparable to concave and convex mirrors. So a converging lens basically works by refracting parallel rays of light, so rays of light that are parallel. Um, they'll refract so that they cross each other on the other side of the lens. And so a picture may look like this. Converging lenses are typically wider in the middle. There are some parallel rays of light, and then when they go through the lens, they all converge on that point in front of it, and we might call that point the focus, kind of like we had for um, concave mirrors. A diverging lens kind of works the opposite way. It refracts parallel rays of light away from each other, and so a picture may look like this. Diverging lenses are thinner in the middle, typically. Parallel rays of light come in and they diverge outward like that as if they all came from that spot in the middle. And again you might call that spot the focus. Kind of like a convex mirror. So there's very very um, there's a um, good deal of similarity between a concave mirror and a converging lens, a convex mirror and a diverging lens. So here's a picture that I took of a converging lens um, and we'll try to see this in class as well. Here's a picture that I took of a diverging lens. And so you can kind of see the top picture of the rays of light are coming together, and the focus is like right here. And then the diverging lens, you can kind of see we could trace those rays backwards to some focus like about right here. Okay, so how do we draw ray diagrams to locate and describe the image? Let's look at converging lenses first. Uh, same kind of diagram setup. We draw an axis through the middle of the lens. For a lens, the center is actually inside the lens. If you were going to try to draw a circle to match the shape of the lens, the center of that circle or circles would have to be on the inside. So the center of the lens is inside. We're going to draw a focus on each side of the lens. Lenses are reversible. You can put light through them either direction. Um, and so we're going to draw a focus on each side. Now let's just say we have an object right over there. We still draw it with an upward arrow. And then we can still draw two of three rays to locate the image. The first ray that we're going to draw is the one that's parallel to the principal axis. It's then going to refract through the focus on the right side of the lens. So that's going to do something like this, kind of like the rays of light we drew earlier. The second ray that we can draw is basically the reverse of that one, the one that goes through the focus on the left side and then refracts parallel to the principal axis, kind of like that. The third ray is the ray that goes through the center a ray that's drawn through the center will not refract at all. It goes through the center. Its incident angle is zero. And so just like before, where the rays cross tells us where the top of the image is. The bottom of the image would be along the principal axis. And so that's what our image looks like for this particular situation. Because the rays of light physically cross, that would be a real image, and because the image arrow points upside down, we would say that it is inverted. It's below the principal axis. Let's look at what's different for a diverging lens. So again, draw the principal axis through the center of the lens. Diverging lens will be thinner in the middle. Center is in the middle still. And then we draw a focus on each side. And now let's say the object is over there again, so about the same position as it was before. The rays that we draw have the basic, uh, same basic principle as before. They're just going to be slightly different in practice. 
So for a diverging lens, the ray that goes parallel to the axis is going to refract away as if it came from the focus on the left. So line your ruler up with the dot on the left side for the focus, which I should probably label. Focus. So line your ruler up with the dot on the left over here, and then draw a line going outwards as if it came from the focus. So the dashed line here represents kind of what your ruler would do to line that up. The second ray is the reverse of the one that would go through the focus first. This ray is going to act like it goes through the focus on the right side. So like line your ruler up with the focus on the right and then draw the ray to the middle of the lens. And then it's going to refract so that it is parallel to the principal axis like this. The third ray would be the easiest one to draw, and that's the ray that just goes through the center, because it doesn't refract. So that ray would look like this. And so the question is, well, where are those rays crossing? Well, they're not. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to trace them backwards. So the blue ray I've already traced backwards with a dashed line. The red one I don't have to trace backwards because it's an actual ray of light. It's not refracting. So the green one, the second one that I drew, is the only one that I have to um, trace backwards. And where those three rays intersect is where I would see the image. This image will be virtual because the actual rays of light, which are here, here, and here, don't ever cross. It's the extended rays that cross behind the lens, and so that would be a virtual image. Okay, obviously we need an equation to relate the image distance, focal length, and object distance with each other. A um, little pro tip for you, it's the same as the equation we have for mirrors. As in 1 over f equals 1 over si plus 1 over so. The magnification equation is still the same. So hi over ho would tell us the magnification, and that's equal to negative si over so. What we have to remember in the case of lenses is that if we have a diverging lens, our focus is going to be negative. It's on the quote-unquote wrong side. And then our image distance is going to be negative if we get a virtual image. So when we're calculating the image distance, it should match our ray diagram. And if it's virtual, we should get a negative number. So let's look at that first example again and see if we can figure out how far away our image is. So I'm going to ignore the rays that I drew. Now that I know where my image is, we don't need them. Let's suppose the focal length of this uh, lens is 3 centimeters and the object distance is 6 centimeters. We want to know what is the image distance. So we might set up our equation like this. 1 over the focus is 1 over SO plus 1 over SI. The thing that we have to remember, however, is that our focal length has to be negative because it's a diverging lens. That's important to remember. Nobody's going to tell us that. And so solving for SI, subtract the 1 over SO thing for both sides, get a common denominator. So I would use 6 as a common denominator. And so it would be negative 3 over 6 equals 1 over SI. So invert it. So 6 over 3 would be 2. And the negative sign would make it negative. And so my image distance would be 2 centimeters. Which, if you look at the diagram, that should make sense. This is 2, since this distance is 6, and this distance is 3. It kind of matches what our diagram shows us. Let's suppose that the object height is 4 centimeters. Let's figure out how high the image is. So that's where we use the magnification equation. Simple ratio, height over height equals distance over distance. And so solving that for the image, height. So the negative sign is part of the equation, so we would be taking the negative of a negative, which means our answer should be positive. And then solving that for hi would give us something like one and a third centimeter. And it's positive. Our image distance being negative means that our image is virtual. Our image height being positive means our image is upright, which is what we should see from our image picture. And if you kind of compare the size, 
the object height is for, the image looks to be about eh, a third as tall as the object. And so that kind of matches what we calculated down here. So a lot of similarities between lenses and mirrors like we learned last week. So a couple of tips for you. Make sure you know the rays that we can draw. That's going to come from practice. Make sure we know the sign conventions when the focus is negative and things like that. And lastly and most important, be sure to take your vitamins every day. I'm going to go take my vitamins. I'll see you next time. Till then, ta-ta.